Hey everyone. In this video you will see the top 5 best premium tanks of the 8 tier for beginners. The main criteria for the list are, the comfort of playing on the tank for an inexperienced player, and also the relevance and the strength of the tank itself in the current random. It is also worth noting that we will talk only about those tanks, which can be bought right now. So, there will be no the defender here. Without further ado, let's go. In 5th place is the Soviet tank destroyer, the T-103. First of all, it should be said that this is not a classic tank destroyer, and playing it is not necessary to stand in the bushes. It's a heavy tank, with an incredibly powerful gun. Damage per shot is 440, damage per minute is about 2900. At the same time excellent armor penetration of basic and premium shells. As you can see average penetration of basic shells is so high, that you can avoid using premium shells altogether. Accuracy, stabilization, and aiming time are pretty good for such a powerful gun. Depression angle is 8 degrees. Believe me, it's a pleasure to shoot this gun. Unfortunately, the gun is the only significant advantage of the T-103. As for mobility, it's not bad, no more. This tank moves about as well as a typical heavy tank. But the armor is the weak point of this tank. The hull has no armor at all. Any tanks, including tier 6 and tier 7 can easily penetrate the T-103 in the hull. The turret is pretty strong, but sometimes it can be penetrated in enemy shell. But in general, if you properly take a position and hide the hull, it is possible to use the armor of this tank. Another disadvantage, as it's a tank destroyer, it has low health points. But this problem is easily solved by using improved hardening in an appropriate slot. Separately worth noting the low cost of this tank, only 6,400 gold. Or you can not spend money on it at all, but buy it in the bond shop for 8,000 bonds. In general, for this price you get the excellent heavy tank with incredibly powerful gun, normal mobility and armor that is difficult to use. In fourth place is the German heavy tank, Luva. If you are a beginner, and want a good tank for stable silver farming, it's your choice. First of all, this tank has good forehead and sides armor of the hull. If you properly take a position, enemies will be quite difficult to kill you. Separately worth noting the armor of the turret. This is one of strongest turrets at tier 8. It's practically invulnerable to enemy shells. Combined with 10 degrees depression angle of the gun, you get comfortable gameplay on hilly terrain. There is a huge vulnerability, as the bottom part of the hull, but this is a feature of almost every tank in the game. As for the gun, it can't be said that it's perfect. The average damage per shot is low, only 320. Damage per minute is very low, only about 2000. But we are talking about a tank for farming and comfortable for beginners. That's exactly what this gun can give. Excellent accuracy, good stabilization, and high average penetration. All this allows inexperienced players to stably deal at least some damage in every battle. Another weakness is mobility. It's just awful in this tank. Although this is not critical for beginners. In general, for 11,200 gold you get the good heavy tank for stable farming. It doesn't have any outstanding characteristics, but it does its main task perfectly. In third place is the American medium tank, T26E4 Super Pershing. This is a very interesting and unique tank. Let's begin with its pros. The first plus is its cost. In comparison with other premium tanks of the 8th tier, T26E4 is really cheap, its cost is only 6,400 gold. The second, and most important plus is its frontal armor. Yes, this armor is random, and you shouldn't rely on it all the time. However, sometimes it can work wonders. That's to say, playing on the T26E4, you can absorb the shell of the enemy object 704 without damage, and, at the same time, you can get penetrated by the T-44 with a basic shell. Certainly, Tier 10 tanks have no problem penetrating this tank with every shot. But there is one thing. The T-26E4 has limited matchmaking, and it never plays with Tier 10 tanks. That's his third plus. Now about the cons. There are none as such. Yes, it doesn't have the best mobility. 
There are many faster medium tanks. But it gains its 45 km per hour confidently. And considering the fact, that the frontal armor of T-26E4 is better than that of some heavy tanks, it's silly to pay attention to it. As for the gun, it's typical, as for a medium tank of the 8th tier. Considering that most of the time you will be battling against tier 8 tanks, this is a pretty comfortable gun. Depression angle is 10 degrees, that's very good. In general, for 6400 gold you get the well-armored medium tank, with limited matchmaking, without pronounced cons. In second place is the Polish heavy tank, 50 TP prototype. Let's begin with its pros. The armor. This is a well-armored tank. In the forehead of the hull armor values in some parts are more than 320 mm. Even tier 10 tanks sometimes can't penetrate this tank. The sides of the hull are also quite strong. Playing on this tank you can use its armor effectively, but you shouldn't rely on it constantly. But, about this a little later. The second, and the main plus of 50 TP prototype, is gun. The average damage per shot is 440. That says it all. At the same time, damage per minute is pretty good. Speaking of the gun, characteristics such as accuracy, stabilization and aiming time are also pretty good for such a powerful gun. As for mobility, it's typical, as for a tier 8 heavy tank. You will not experience any discomfort. Now let's talk about its cons. The first, is armor. Yes, the armor is both A plus and a minus of this tank. The point is that there are vulnerabilities in the forehead, which are quite easy to hit. At the same time, if you decide to use side armor, another vulnerability opens up. I think you get the picture. Its armor is random. The same Lufa, for example, has stable armor. If you position the tank correctly, hide the lower part of the hull, it will be very difficult to penetrate you. That's not the case with the 50 TP. All this depends on whether the enemy will hit your vulnerability or not. For an inexperienced players, this is more of A plus than a minus. After all, you don't need to bother, you just need to drive out at your enemy, the rest is a matter of chance. This is a feature of all Polish heavy tanks. And the second little disadvantage, it's not the best average penetration on the basic and premium shells. There its disadvantages end there. And don't write in comments about poor accuracy and mobility. It's balanced, not bad. In general, for 9600 gold, you get an easy to learn and gameplay tank, with a powerful gun and quite strong armor, although with a lot of vulnerabilities. And, before we move to the first place, honorable mentions. Briefly about the tanks, that didn't get into the main list, but which are also very good for beginners. The Object 703 version 2. Excellent armor and imbalanced firepower. The TS-5. A very strong tank destroyer with awesome frontal armor and very powerful gun, though with weak mobility. The Defender. No comments. E-75 TS. This is a light version of Luva, with better mobility. Comfortable gun and good armor. If you will see one of these tanks on sale, safely buy, you won't be sorry. And, finally, first place. The Soviet heavy tank, is 6 You can dislikes, write angry comments, I don't care. The S6 is a legend, the S6 is a classic. Let's look at, why it's currently the best premium tank for beginners and inexperienced players. First, it's tank with a limited matchmaking. Playing on the S6, you won't be battling with 10th tier tanks. Secondly, it's armor. You can't even try to use armor properly, this tank will do it for you. Excellent armor of the forehead and the sides of the hull. The turret is also pretty strong, but there are two vulnerabilities, as a small area near the gun, and two small hatches. Perhaps, the main plus of the S6 armor is that it's forgiving to mistakes. If you sloppy drive out to the enemy, he, with a high probability, will not be able to penetrate you. As for mobility, it's quite simple. Typical mobility, as for the Soviet heavy tank of the 8th tier. The same can be said about the gun. Average damage per shot is 390, damage per minute is about 2500. Accuracy, stabilization and aiming time is balanced. Basically, it's a very good gun. 
but it has one disadvantage. That's a low armor penetration. However, most often you will be battling with tier 8 tanks. Average penetration of 196 is quite enough, if you know vulnerabilities of enemy tanks. In general, playing on this tank, you will not only get a lot of positive emotions, but also will be able to farm much silver, and learn the vulnerabilities of many tanks. The A6 is a must-have tank for all beginners. Spending 8000 bonds in the bond shop, or 10,600 gold, you get a great heavy tank, with a powerful gun, strong armor and limited matchmaking. Well, thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope you found it useful. It's time to say goodbye. Good luck to everyone. And remember, don't play World of Tanks.